Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. It's no secret that I anticipate XRP will reach a new all time high and enter price discovery at some point in the future. And look, I always accept I might be wrong and it drops to zero, but I think one of those things is going to happen because the price of XRP isn't going to just stream about. It's been trendy for the better part of a decade. Not going to happen. From where I'm sitting, two possible results exist. There will be zero more anytime soon. But I have no idea what will happen next. But I can promise you this, when we get there, I will have the time of my life. Yes, I think that will be the case. It will be amazing to watch as people follow the leader's example. It's the norm for everyday gamblers. The fear of missing out, FOMO. The stock market also exhibits this type of activity. It's used in cryptography. I also want to tell you that I have previously cited a comment about crypto, albeit I have no idea who originally made it. However, stocks and cryptocurrency are all there is, and you should buy them right before they go on sale. They are undesirable and are hence rejected. But as soon as price increases, become noticeable. Feelings of regret about missing out are warranted now. But let it be known up front that I come from absolutely no financial background whatsoever. I'm not here to give you money advice. Furthermore, you should not make any financial decisions based on what I say. Just a hobbyist here that occasionally posts films to YouTube on various crypto-related topics. Okay, here we go. Pro XRP attorney John Deaton thinks most investors won't rush into XRP until it breaks the $2 barrier. The cost. The originator of crypto law and an XRP advocate, John Deaton, recently commented on the perceived apathy of investors who have been unable to purchase XRP at prices below $1. The attorney thinks these people are missing out on a great financial opportunity since they won't get on board until the asset price goes above $2. In a tweet, lawyer John Deaton mentioned that XRP is currently trading at $0.48. Cents. It's mind-boggling to consider how many individuals who aren't willing to buy it today will pay more than $1 for it. The fact that 4 won't activate until $2 is equally crazier. And, you know, that's a crucial level, actually, because it's roughly what we hit at the peak of XRP's price in 2021. So, yeah, I mean, I'll say this, as far as the mass FOMO, I think once you hit that range. If memory serves, it happened sometime in April of 2021. The price of XRP did reach $2. That was the same price I saw on Live Coin Watch at that time. It had not been that high in years. Therefore, after arrival, the expectation would be that, you know, we're seeing something like that there is definitely sufficient regulatory clarification from XRP for XRP, but I'm not going to put words in Attorney Deacon's mouths. That means it's after the SEC case against Ripple has concluded. But what do you anticipate will occur at that time, causing fear of missing out? Earlier than that, at the very least. Just what exactly is a lead in this case of fear of missing out? It's the driving force for price rises in general, just as curiosity about when the majority of people will experience FOMO contributes to more buying. Keep it rising, and XRP will go above $1. Even if they're only watching from afar, some people won't feel anything until the price goes up even farther, but then nobody cares. And that's just crazy. However, this is typical human behavior. Just look at this, I mean. Here then is an article elaborating on this theme. According to CNBC. Even though it's from August of last year, check this out. According to experts, 65% of Americans are taking the opposite approach to investing than they should be taking. Instead, try these suggestions. And I only want to talk about a couple of the aspects of this. But trust me when I say they're discussing stock market. Speculation. The S&P 500 is the topic of discussion. What they're describing is exactly the kind of human behavior we've observed with XRP over the better part of a decade, and it's Attorney Deaton's specialty. Remember that the cycle in which XRP reached its all-time high saw the price rise to about 
well, XRP was worth around half a cent at the start of that cycle. When XRP's price suddenly shot up from less than a cent to 41 or 42 cents in what seems to have been April of 2017, some consumers may have experienced fear of missing out, FOMO. But then it dropped again. People panic in the beginning, and then they panic again at the end of 2017, and then they panic all the way up an extra hidden up to $2 in April 2021, and then they panic all the way up XERP running up to 80 cents in November 2020. It's inevitable, but the moment will come when this stops. Even though there is technically no assurance, of course, I agree with what attorney Deaton is saying, if you reach that level, especially with regulatory certainty, that's when it's going to get real fun. Look at the CNBC infographic anyhow. If your favorite store were providing a discount of 13% on all items, you would probably load up your cart. But if you're like many Americans, you could discover that a discount doesn't make you quite as eager to buy stocks. The standard measure of the US stock market, the S&P 500, is down 13% in 2022. However, despite the lower pricing, they aren't buying more stock. According to a recent survey by Connects to Life, only 24% of Americans believe now is a good time to invest in the stock market. In addition, 65% admit they are not investing enough of their money. Do of worry over financial losses. That's right, and equities, we're taking a break to do it all over again. The same holds true in the world of cryptography. That's why I made some of my biggest purchases ever in November of last year, when we had a massive capitulation event due to the collapse of FTX. And I know, hey, this may drop even more. I'd be even more compelled to increase my initial investment if that occurred. Because it has little to do with underlying market conditions over the long term. People were freaking out, I saw it. I think there's some truth to the speculation that the XRP price is being artificially held down. Because of this, I can rest easy at night. Having invested for well over five years and still not knowing when the market will explode, I am confident that XRP would have reached a new all-time high by now, most likely in 2021, if not for the SEC. But I'm still in this uncontrollable life situation, and I know it's going to turn out okay. The SEC's ridiculous action that will hurt XRP investors only causes a delay. But again, that's simply part of being an adult, keeping your feelings in check when it comes to spending your hard-earned money. When something happens is beyond of our control, we can only decide whether or not to be exposed to it. Because one of those things is going to freaking happen, I've made up my mind, I want the exposure of XRP when it either goes to zero or sets a new all-time high. I have no doubt about that and anticipate a significant increase in value as a result. No war has broken out. All investments carry the risk of loss, so those concerns are reasonable. Losses on investments hurt, especially if you count on that money to support you in the near future. When the market is doing well, people are pouring money at it, so letting fear keep your money out of the market is a major mistake if you're investing for a goal that's years away says Kelly Levine, Vice President of Consumer Insights, that aligns life quote. When it is not performing well. They're not putting any money in. It's the antithesis of the correct action to take. Stop quoting. Part of my investment strategy is counting on humans to continue to act like humans, i.e., to be useful idiots causing volatility in markets. As I mentioned just the other day and have mentioned from time to time over the last several years that I've run this YouTube channel. To put it simply, I refuse to join in on their inanity. That's one of my plans, actually. Absolutely. Since the whole point of investing is to take advantage of market fluctuations, I consider the decision makers to be the useful idiots who make it possible for me to accomplish truly monumental goals in terms of my personal finances. You also know that they can bet against me by making purchases and sales when I am ill. Though I disagree with their choices, it's all okay. It's not like it's some terrible thing, just to let you know. I'm banking on them to keep making what I consider to be bad choices. And if I'm wrong, well, there's a chance I could be wrong, and that's a risk I'm willing to take. 
but I seriously doubt that will occur. Over a century's worth of stock market data should be sufficient, in my opinion. Also, the cryptocurrency industry has around 14 years of data. This is how people naturally act. Cryptocurrency investing is simply more thrilling than stock market investing. As a result, the chance to amass substantial riches is extremely sporadic. That's a fact, no doubt. The piece would go on. The market needs to bottom out before I can start writing a backup. But if that's what you're thinking, consider that you can only make long-term returns by investing during the market's finest days. And for the 20 years, concluding on December 31, 2021, they often follow the worst ones. Annualized, the return on the S&P 500 was 9.52%. Did you hear that, once more, folks? That's 9.52% by the year 2021, the end of a 20-year period. However, look at this. I've made this point before, but it bears repeating, regular exposure is vital. That's why I treat myself in this way. It's something everyone does and I won't recommend any specific purchases or sales. This is what I believe with all my heart, and there is much evidence to support my claim. You read that right, over a 20-year period, if you miss the 10 best days, your annualized returns go from close to 10%, almost gotten half down to about 5%, according to analysis from JP Morgan. This is for the S&P 500 index, and again, if you remove the 10 best days from that period, the return drops to 5.33%. You either have access to media coverage during the 10 most exciting days, or you don't. So, when will XRP's true excitement begin to say that if it comes from as a result of clarity from the SEC be reproduced if that happens, in the course of only hours over if you look even more generally over a 24-hour period? When more people catch wind of this, that's when they'll have the most fun taking advantage of the situation. It's not that you couldn't find evidence of it if you looked. But what I'm arguing is that there just wouldn't be any. If you're lucky, you'll notice it at an early stage. What does it mean, God forbid, that XRP is worth more than a dollar? Let's say it costs you one dollar and fifty cents. As I record this, it's at forty-nine cents, so it's less than fifty cents right now. There we go, so there you have it. When I'm recording this, it's just over 49 cents, do you think many people will miss that? A lot. It's a great deal. Seven of the market's finest days during that time frame all occurred within two weeks of one of the 10 worst days. Because I was either breaking even or losing money on my XRP investments for many years, including the first few years I held the currency. And I couldn't have cared less. I just started making more frequent purchases, and after a few years of dollar cost averaging, I was able to invest significantly more money. In the fall of 2020, between September and October, I believe. Then I realized I had to stop because XRP is rapidly becoming my favorite and largest cryptocurrency holding. That's why I finally pulled over. Since then, I have been simply diversifying into a different cryptocurrency. When it was offline, however, I still didn't care. And thus it is that I find myself awake now. Since I usually spend around 25 cents when I shop. But now you can look at the evidence and lament your lost chances. In addition, I could easily install that into other 2021 era cryptos. That's true, but I had no idea Ripple would be sued by the SEC. In addition, I have had experience with different cryptos. So it's not just me that is interested in diversifying their holdings and investing in cryptos that have practical applications, nonetheless, that is where my focus lies. But all that to say, the greatest days are yet, and I firmly believe that, and it's nice to see Attorney Deaton think so as well today, as it's Attorney Dean, like the what he's done for XRP holders. Simply said, it defies articulation. I think it's safe to say that everyone here values your efforts. Simply put, he rarely brings up financial topics in conversation. Remember that he also holds XRP. Even if he did publicly announce that it was one of his major crypto holdings, I can't recall what he said. I can't recall if Ethan is the biggest. 
Bitcoin holder. Nonetheless, I am aware of this. I am quite aware that XRP is not. But that's beside the point, too. As some of you may be able to tell. For some of you listening, XRP is by far your most valuable cryptocurrency asset, but it could just as easily be Bitcoin or Ethereum. The only difference is that we arrived early for everything together. How fortunate we are to be living now. In other words, in 10 years from now, history will be written about the same moment. To what extent is this all historic, and we are only living through it right now, with this amazing opportunity? Recognize and appreciate that point with complete gratitude. This chance, though, will not last forever. One day, everyone will know what you mean without having to say a word. In a word, yes. Naturally, XRP made the most sense. However, when everyone finally comes to this conclusion, there won't be nearly as much opportunity, and investing in XRP will likely be as uninteresting as investing in index funds. Right? I agree that this is the most likely scenario, but we haven't arrived there just yet. That's why it's so thrilling. Having a stake in the outcome is also a lot of fun. And even though I've allowed for the possibility that I'm mistaken, I still feel as though everything could collapse and I lose everything. There's a high degree of assurance, at least in my mind, that we're not headed in that course. I anticipate that we will reach new highs and start a period of price discovery. I really can't say with any certainty how much earlier it might have happened if I had predicted it even half a decade ago. But I also wouldn't have guessed that the SEC would go after XRP investors so aggressively. That's how it is, I guess. I'm trying to act like a man, you know. Therefore, I shall not weep over it. I refuse to give in to all that foolishness, I am still convinced that I am correct. I don't give advice on money matters. Nothing I say should influence your buying or selling. Decisions. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.